Tech Tips 1. What causes this rattle? Welcome back to the House of Tone. My name is Wesley. I'm a professional band instrument repair technician. I started a YouTube channel to document my life in the trades. I appreciate you coming by the shop today. A lot of times on rotor instruments, it may have a sympathetic vibration, have some, sounds like a broken solder joint. But if we bounce around on the instrument, let's kind of lift it up. When we just bounce around on the instrument, we don't hear any solder joints. And when we go to touch things, we're good and tight. Let's check the rotor caps. So those are good and tight. So the instrument is, is solid. Now, what we do find is when we start touching on where the levers, see if the microphone can pick that up. You can hear that vibration, zing, zing, zing just by tapping with your finger. And in that case, this is where you want to put your link, bearing and linkage oil. And you want to come in, and on this particular tuba, it has spacers, and the keys are, the levers are actually kind of loose. This is typical of a school instrument, but they still have to play well. So now let's immediately kind of wipe off some of that excess work the rotors that'll draw in the oil by capillary action now let's tap it again you see that's gone okay now we're gonna all of the uniballs we're gonna put a drop of oil to lubricate the uniball itself And we'll do that back here at the key lever as well. And we'll work that in. See, everything is tight. So we're good. And now you can hear how that action has really quieted down. Okay, and now when we tap, we don't have those rattles. And I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to go ahead and put some bearing and linkage oil back here on the backs of the spindles of our rotors. So for this tech tip, the rattles that you hear may not always be associated with a broken solder joint or main loose screws. After you've tightened those and you still have that vibration Tap around and see what you can find if any of the internals or the springs or the levers or the uniballs are actually your culprit. Sometimes it's the smallest thing that creates the most weird vibrations. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. I appreciate you dropping by the shop today. We'll see you next time around. This is Wes Lee signing out.